we left the Erie Canal behind and started our trip down the Hudson River. Very excited when we saw our first sailing vessel this side of the Erie Canal. The Hudson River is a much larger waterway and we started to see more marine traffic, including a large number of commercial vessels. Go actually, so we're gonna go and see if they're there, if they recognize us. <laughs> and then we like this sound, yeah, it's called cats, cat skill, as in cat skill, not as in cats kill, just to be clear. <laughs> At Hoppenose Marina in Cat Skill, we step the mast. <laughs> Tighten the shrouds and the stays, making sure the mast was straight. <music> Lastly, we attach the boom to the mast and set the sails. We needed to improve our anchor situation, so we went to buy 60 feet of chain and some shackles. What's going on? We're sailing! That's the way of the sailboat again. And we're really happy. If we're heading south on the Hudson, we have a five hour trip ahead of us. Oswego, we met this nice man named Rajin, uh, who was also in a catamaran, also coming from Canada. But the difference is that they got their cruising permit and we didn't. Uh, but we stopped in the Catskills and on our way into Havano's, we saw his boat. So we went over to say hello and now we have a buddy boat. We're all kind of going the same way and our boats go approximately the same speed. They kind of sail similarly a little faster than we are. Uh, yeah, it's worked out really well. Moon Bay. This is our first anchoring on the Hudson and there's quite a tide so we were a little worried we'll watch the anchor alarm tonight. We also we should have done this earlier but we only just now went through all our anchor road and we have a lot of rope for road and not as much chain so we're gonna try and MacGyver something together. 
The next day, we continue down the Hudson towards Manhattan, aided by a two-knot current. Unfortunately, the moorings at the West 79th Street boat basin were closed, so we ended up anchoring north of the mooring fields. We had never anchored in current before, so we decided to stay on the boat for 48 hours to make sure our anchor was set. We're keeping an eye on this yacht. It seems to be slipping its anchor. It's moved about 100 feet. We'll keep an eye on it. Nobody seems to be on board, but if it moves any further, we'll either go over there to see if we can sort it out or we'll call the Coast Guard. This is kind of a weird experience. The wind is blowing from the south, so towards me right now. So you can see the waves are actually hitting the rear of the boat. And we've actually never been at a mooring or an anchoring where the waves are going in the opposite direction. Because right now the tide is flowing from the north. So the head of the boat is facing that way. Feels like our boat is in the wrong position. But I guess current trumps wind. The heavy and consistent current was a good test of our anchoring skills, not to mention the accumulation of wake from passing boats. We're at Anchor, outside of New York City. There are white caps on the Hudson, and a lot of wake from passing ships. And it's pretty windy, so there's a lot of rocking and rolling. I'm a little seasick. I think Jazz might also be a little seasick. How you doing, Greg? Yeah, I'm a little seasick. See how long we can hold out for before heading to shore. In between the wakes of ferries, we spent our time doing a few little odd jobs, like adding a four-port hub for more of our USB electronics, registering the EPIRB so it actually does something, and setting up a USB battery charger for our trip to the mainland. This is our view from our bed. It's a pretty magnificent looking rag. Grandland! For the first time in five days. It's really like that. And we've been at Anchor just off Manhattan and it's been crazy rough but we've been wanting to test out our anchor and we're confident in it now. We're in Central Park, New York and I kind of hate to say this but it's so nice to be back in the city again. The land of Wi-Fi. Yes, with turtles. There they are. <laughs> Walking around Washington Square Park looking for feet in the air because we should have some accurate friends around here somewhere. Greg just took me to the Russian samovar for my birthday because it's one of the restaurants in Sex in the City and I love that show. <laughs> Very red downstairs. Sadly, is what expected of Russia. <laughs> it's really early, but I have to put in 70 feet of chain and 40 feet of rope. So we want to do that when the tide is at its weakest, which is when we now. So I'll get started on that. We left New York City in darkness and enjoyed a beautiful sunrise.
Thanks for having us, New York. We're currently in North Carolina heading south. Check out our live map, link in the description, to see where we are right now.